Teresa. Welcome to or back to my channel. And welcome back to campus. I am now a senior at Tulane studying Homeland Security, Sociology, and Education. And this is my last dorm room. I've lived on campus for the past four years. And this is my sixth residence hall that I've lived in. So I'm super excited for today's video as I get to show you around my dorm room. And this is an RA room, so it's a little bigger, it's a little nicer. I love this room. Definitely it's not my favorite. My favorite was last year in Weatherhead, but this is definitely my largest room. As I said in one of my previous videos, I asked if you know what residence hall I'm in, what floor I'm on, or even my room number, to please not share that. That is for my safety and my safety of my residence as well. It is very loud in my room for some odd reason. I'm like right across from the air bed, so if you hear that in the background, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to deal with this all year because obviously you can't turn off the AC. <laughs> Cannot turn off the AC in New Orleans. I'm super excited to show you my dorm room, so let's get right into it. Here is a brief overview of what my room looks like. I am so glad. I love how it came out. It came out much better than I expected. I was actually expecting a much smaller room, like most of the RA rooms in my residence hall, but since I have a private bathroom, I got very lucky and I have a huge room. And fun fact, it is actually bigger than my residence doubles. So I really lucked out. So this is obviously is the entrance. It's just so loud over there <laughs> because of the air conditioning. But I think we should start over here. That sounds good to me. In this little corner, I kind of have like my dressing area. As you can see, I have a nice big mirror. This was provided in the room. So I have been doing my makeup in here a few times. I also keep my class of 2022 beads. You're supposed to wear these beads at graduation, which is crazy to think about. And also over here I have my calendar and a little world wave sign. But I also, I'll go into more depth on what is on my dresser, but I also have lots of photos on the wall. These photos are all from Rome. I love them. I just think this brightens up the area a little bit. You can see over here I have my makeup brushes in this dry little holder. It was actually a succulent, but it died, so I just use it for my makeup brushes now. Over here I have a mirror also for my makeup. I have a basket of masks because we are still in a pandemic, so we need a mask up and stay safe. I have the little fig succulent. I love flowers, I love plants, but I am not the best with keeping them alive, so a fake plant was the way to go. I also have my jewelry organizer. I do not put out all of my jewelry, only the ones that I typically wear. But I like bracelets, some earrings. I have some necklaces on my wall. I don't like how they hang down on my jewelry organizer, so I put them on the wall. And then I have a little bowl of candy and fruit snacks because I'm a resident advisor, which is basically I just stay in the residence hall and help the first years with their transition or anything they need. So if they ever need anything or if they want to chat, they can always grab some things. And then all of my drawers, I just have clothes, lots of clothes, lots of outfits in all three of my drawers. So now let's check out the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. When I first came to this room, I thought the bathroom was a little creepy, but since I was able to decorate and brighten it up, I like how it turned out. So, here's what my bathroom looks like. You have the sink, the toilet, my shower, and I have some organizers for body products, like makeup wipes. Then I have my cleaning supplies over here as well. Over here is my sitting area. I really loved how this turned out. In my previous dorm rooms, I haven't ever had space to have both my chairs in one place. So I'm super excited this room is large enough to accommodate that. On one of my chairs, I have the streetcar from the Iris Parade. And I also have the King Cake Baby. And then on my shelves over here, I have another fake plant because I cannot keep plants alive. I have this frog. This frog was from... Pardon? This rock was from Leap Day 2020. At our dining hall, they had a little like Leap Day event. They showed Princess and the Frog. We got to do like little bear frogs, and then that's also where I got my succulent from. Over here, I have a sign that says "Keep your heels, head, and stamps high." Words to live by, and then I have my hops in this. 
from Denmark, which just makes you happy. He is so cute. These shelves are kind of empty. I don't know what's happened since the previous years. Typically, my shelves are full, but this year it isn't. I just love how cozy this area is. Like. I love it. On the wall, I have sunflowers. I love sunflowers. This is my bed. <laughs> my bed is lofted pretty high. I love my high bed because I have extra storage under my bed. But here's my bed. She is super comfy. Over here, I have two Valentine's Day bears from my mother. And it's kind of funny. So my first bear is from 2019 and this one is from 2021. But my mother didn't get me a Valentine's Day bear for 2020, so I feel like we're missing a little bit, but 2020 was a very interesting year. So, is it a bad thing that I don't have a bear from 2020? I don't know. But I also have my Denmark bear from my exchange program, and my Roma bear from this summer. Up here I have my initials, CSL. I actually am missing a letter because I kind of have like two middle names, and I think there's a problem with one of the other letters, actually, now that I think of it, I feel like my mother asked me, like, which middle name I wanted to put. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. So here's the underbed storage. I have these storage bins. I'm pretty sure they're from Walmart. These storage bins, um, they're stacked mainly because they're all empty. I do keep some extra bedding in this one. Over here I have two bins. Here's my laundry hamper. I have these three drawers from Target as well. And then the rest of the stuff back here is just storage. Like I have my suitcases back there. I have toilet paper, paper towels. Okay, so this is fun. In the window you can see my sunflower clock that my aunt gave me for my birthday. And above the clock is some pictures. But I put them all across the top, which I think look great over here is my desk i love my desk area i originally had my desk facing the other way like facing the brick wall but i like it better in the window and i feel like this is like the perfect setup for it because there is that wall there that kind of obstructs it i have my whiteboard school hasn't started yet so i don't have to really write anything on it yet and same with my week plan on my board as well i love this thing it's really weird i guess it's kind of like a wall because there's like a window above it but it's been super helpful to hang posts and notes over here. On this wall over here, these are all photos from my recent trip to Italy. Since these are more recent and they don't have the funny background that I put on my older pictures, they look better here. On my desk, I have my laptop and my laptop stand. I even have a keyboard and a mouse to go with it as well. This right here is a paint by numbers. I have a couple of organizers. This organizer is for like my notebooks, my iPad, my LSAT prep, and planners. This one is color coded with all of my pens and my highlighters. There's tape, there's a stapler, lots of post-it notes, and paper clips as well. Underneath my desk, I just have a garbage can and a little rug because my feet get really cold. So I like having a little rug there. So over here is just another drawer set. Now this came like underneath the desk, but I didn't like it. I like having the open space around my desk so my feet can go anywhere. But over here, this is like the medicine drawer. I have notebooks down here. On top of my little, I don't know, cabinet area, I have this Bath & Body Works Stress Relief candle. It's on a candle warmer, so therefore it is allowed in the dorms because it is not an open flame. This has been on for a very long time and I actually even had this in my old room last year and it still hasn't burned all the way. So this is basically how you can make your candle life last longer. Over here I have a basket full of scrunchies. And over here I just have some papers. This is my kitchen area. Oh my gosh, this garbage. Why is this? Ignore that. This is my kitchen area. I have two fridges because I have a lot of dietary restrictions so I can't really eat at the dining hall all that often. So I have two fridges. And over here is like my snacks. I really loved my snacks. I have some popcorn, some pretzels, some corn chips, soup. Anything that anyone probably could want, I probably have it. But this is just like my staff storage over here. Over here I have my drying rack. My drying rack is kind of on this way. I don't really know where else to put it. Like I don't want it on the floor. So this is where it's going to go. But I have 
basically ignore everyday stuff, so I have like my knives, my spoons, my forks. So I played some bowls and cups. I have like more supplies like um, pots and pans, but those are in my closet, which we'll see in a second. I don't use those on a daily basis, so they don't have to be in a good plate, like for me to reach. Over here I have my oven mitts, some bread, can of an ice pack. This thing is very interesting. I've made the nachos on it in here before. My mom's made chicken in there and bread. So like bread will get hard in here, but very soft on the inside, so it's so good. And then this is a toaster. This is my friend Gopan's toaster. Hi, hi Kaylin. She hasn't asked for a bath. Finally, we are at my closet. Now, I have a very big closet. The only issue I have is that it doesn't close. This side doesn't close. Like, it just, like, doesn't close. And it kind of scares me. Like, I don't really like sleeping with, like, the closet open. But, like, it doesn't close. Uh, anyway, let me show you inside. Welcome to my closet. I kind of did try to color code my clothes. I really like color coordinating my clothes and I think I did a pretty good job of it. There's like black and gray and white and brown, some green, some pinks, blues, greens. Yeah. I don't know. I just like color coding things for some reason. It just makes me happy. I have my <laughs> purse that I got from Rome. I love it so much. And then I also have my rain jacket over here because I go to school in New Orleans so when it rains it pours, so raincoats are essential, and then I have a light jacket. It does get cold here in New Orleans, but not for a very long time, so like when October hits, this light jacket is a lot better. Up top, I have some supplies that I don't need on a daily basis, so they don't have to be in like arm's length away. I really love the storage in this room. Down at the bottom, we have two drawers. So this side is all like pajamas and workout attire. This is underwear, bras, socks, and this is like sweaters and sweatshirts so I don't get cold. I keep my umbrella in here, my yoga mat, and my shoes. The shoe situation I actually do need to figure out. I was planning on getting um, a shoe rack, but I haven't gotten that yet. I feel like I need to get a shoe rack though because you see this? Like the shoes shouldn't be stacked like that. I mean, it's fine, like, I don't, I guess I don't really need a, stu a shoe rack, but I think I would like it, so those shoes just don't look like that. <laughs> so that was my closet area. I'm still a little annoyed that my closet doesn't close everybody, but it is what it is, and it's a very nice large closet as well, so there's lots of storage in there. Finally, we are back to my mirror. Now, I had a different mirror. I had a white mirror for three years here. And it decided to break, so that was not cool. She fell off of this and just cracked. So now we had to get a new one. We had to invest in a new mirror. It was okay, because my other mirror, my white one, which I think kind of looked better in the room, which from Walmart, it's literally $5. Like, I got use out of this. This one was like $6 at Walmart again, and it's going to get good use as well. So yeah, that's basically like my dorm room. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really like how my dorm room came out. I am actually surprised how well it came out. Like the only, there's not really issues with this room. I really like it. The brick wall is kind of getting to me because I'm like, oh, it's so plain. But I'm like, but it looks good in the room. Well, that is basically my dorm room. That That's so crazy. Like this is like my last dorm tour that I'm ever going to do here. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, feel free to give it a huge a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Remember to stay safe and wear a mask. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye bye!